first seeing their work, I immediately thought of the Bay Area <laughs> figurative tradition. Have you count for the figurative side, and I think of you as the landscape with Society of Six. And it looks like that. So let's see. Um, Matisse, I went Cezanne. Matisse, we'll skip. We can talk about Matisse when we talk about Matisse. Talk about David. I am. I'm going, to, I'm going there. RCD. I love his unconventional compositions. I think his freedom, just like the playfulness, there's some playfulness. And I saw playfulness in Matisse sometimes to dare to cut a head off. Or have the leg. You know. um, there's a truthfulness in it, which I find in Demon Corn's work. There's a truthfulness. There's a weight to it. It's not fluff. It's not pretty. I want to get. I want meat. I want. To see, I want the meat in the painting. I want to feel. Um, I know there's been a struggle there. I, I like that. I like things to be very balanced. However, once you get that balance, I want to tip it. I want to change it. I want to skew it. I want to move it. And so it is, it's a little bit of a push-pull. And I felt like Devin Korn and Matisse and you know, many artists that were of their um, era and the Bay Area figurative artists, you know, got that. Um, when you move or you change places, I admire his capacity to take on a place, whether it was Berkeley or Illinois or wherever, and he, or up in the sky in an airplane. Mm -hmm. He brought that and whatever was going on into his work. And also he has that friend who has that island, had that island off in Southern California they'd go and he'd do artwork right on site because it's part of who he is, it's his life story. I took oil painting up um, at about 1999 and I found Kim's work. And it was like, oh my God, that's who I want to be when I grow up. I was like, she was a huge influence. So I, I see, you know, there's that whole group of very figuratives. And I, I love David Park, uh, David Park Neary. I love Neary's work. Um, uh, Nathan Oliveira, I think, mm -hmm. figuratively, is, I think, my favorite. But, um, and, and then I saw Kim's work, and it's like, there's somebody doing exactly what, you know, she totally understands what was before her and incorporating it into her work. So I have to say, mm -hmm. Kim has been a complete influence. I have a lot of Thank her books. You. I actually own several of her works. Mm -hmm. And they're, <laughs> and I love them. I cherish, cherish them. And Thank you. Thank you.